Today, I spend 900 days in Valheim and actually get to experience everything I missed. From finding these huge looking castles to siege, I found some cool things to build as well. These new toys to break into the castle themselves, an NPC that would be Halder's sister, and one who had new quests for me to explore. I also added all of the names to signs inside my base and found these odd but new looking pieces to a bell. Excited to ring all bells in harmony and call forth the last boss to fight. Without further ado, I spent 900 days in Valheim Ashland and here's what happened. I know what you're thinking, and that is, where's the content? Oh, it's coming. But first, I needed to figure out what to do with these seeds. Trying to plant them down in different areas around my base just didn't seem to work. Learning later on, I could plant them down inside my plains farm. Trying to understand the vineberry seeds was so much tougher than I thought. While being back inside the Ashlands once more, I had to call it quits here. This place wasn't the real Ashlands, and I needed resources for a few portals back. The plan was simple, to find and make it to a new area entirely and one that was fully updated. Today was that day, where I stepped back inside the Ashlands and said goodbye to the first island I ever found, setting sail on my ship in search of new lands and something more. A part of me really didn't want to do this, and I know all of you wanted content I missed, so here it was. I was about to be in for a rude awakening. You coming out to play? There we go. He's coming out to play. Seeing the tips of all those spiked rocks was more than enough, but now I had to deal with a serpent while keeping my ship from crashing. If I'm being completely honest, what really saved me around these parts was having enough wood and finding a spot to build a workbench. There was countless times it looked like my ship was about to sink and I'd have to restart all over again. If this is what most of you went through, if not the majority of you guys, I am so sorry. I literally bow to thee and give you my full respect. I never wanted to do that again. What was pretty ironic though, I was making progress in the wrong direction, threading the needle completely off course and taking it slower than ever before. I forced my ship to go one speed and one speed only, just slow. I didn't think I'd make it out alive and once my feet met actual ground, I popped that bone mass buff and got to work. There was no way I was dying after all that, so now I just needed some space, clearing out a few spawns close to me, and making some trees disappear. Time for the mother flipping portal, y'all. With a new wave to and from the Ashlands here, this gave me the time to start building a base. Little or big, I didn't care, I just wanted something that made me feel safe. Was it the multiple platforms built for the foundation? I don't know. Maybe it was the walls I built for the roof trying to bring these things together. Probably. I think what became the toughest part about this build was trying to bring the roofing together though. At this point, I'm thinking of using these for the roof. All I could really see work was having certain beams or pillars made for the extra stability themselves. Now I just needed to clear out the rest of the trees and not die doing so. As I traveled back into the Ashlands, I started working on my base some more. The only thing in my way now was this big eyesore, a giant rock that I had to mine. So I got to work on the darn thing, making real progress with some stone, forgetting the most important rule, and that was to never dig straight down. Just like in Minecraft, I hated lava. Oh God. <gasps> That hurt. Oh, that hurt. Make it stop. Make it stop. I, okay. You know what? This turned into Minecraft. What the fudge? That wasn't the worst of it because I'd end up doing it again. Is that lava? Oh, 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 just don't. Oh my God. Oh. Third time's the charm, right? Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. Okay, okay, okay. So there's a big hole. Oh, I gotta watch the hole. While looking at the deformed rock and all its curves, I had to say goodbye. No more crispy ray of pandas, thank you very much. As fate would have it, things started to look up for my base. More specifically, my roof to the place. This was it. I just needed something to protect me during the nighttime. What really had me going was my next idea, a wall of spike traps made from ash wood itself. As I got to work the next day, everything was coming together nicely. It does get set on fire. Well, there goes that idea. I'm not building with this stuff. Aww. Completely forgetting to build certain protections as the Ashlands had a tendency to set everything ablaze. At least all the wooden stuff. Now I felt like the time was right, having set up a safeguard or two giving me what I needed to start building again. It's not really like necessarily going to stop them forever. It's more of just like I need something to save me in the moment so I could like heal for a couple seconds. Sure, it wasn't the biggest area to build in, but by the time I was done with it, it really didn't matter at all. I even had a little stone staircase built to reach the upper parts of this thing. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> I don't build the small things in this game. Are you kidding me? No. There's no point in doing that. I was finally done with the little area and ready to move on to a more important part. What I was extremely happy about were the amount of spots for fiddle and smoke puffs. Apparently this area I set up camp at was close to the motherload and then some. 
these these things these here these seeds and that are so important very very important especially the uh, smoke puffs turns out i wasn't still ready for the ashlands however new updates and all which if i'm being completely honest that only fired me up to try harder Oh, I don't even have the rusted buff. That's why. Oh, my God. Yup, there it is. Okay. The last thing my base needed was some lanterns. The place was dark, and at nighttime, things were barely visible. So for the next few days, the plan was gathering all the materials I had. Unfortunately for me, I only had a handful of crystals and some copper. The best place to find more crystals was in that mountain biome. Okay, we're being attacked already. Oh, my God. All right, the boss is still here. Yep, I thought that was a thing. <laughs> told myself I'd never come back to fight this boss. Thinking that these big caves had just what I needed, truth was I needed to find the bouncer of the mountaintop himself. They had a solid build and were rock hard. Golem! Hello, my friend! All right. Aha! Do it again. You won't. That was sweet. Yeah, in this game, you can make ice cream when you get to this biome in the world. They drop certain things, and it's it's pretty insane. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, do it again. Socks can be nice, but overall, I'm just like, eh, I can do whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. Praying that all the prep work I did was enough, I never looked back. A bit of a process, but one that I loved dearly. This is where my excitement continued to signs. Just like in previous videos of Subnautica where I put names on lockers, I always loved involving you guys in videos and this was the best way possible, adding your names to signs. So if you did want your name on a sign and to be in my game forever, comment sign me down below. Since I had some time to kill two, I added a few more gems to my master bedroom, a nice hot tub because that always made sense, and some lights to brighten up the place. Now, let's not forget the rest of you beautiful people out there. Signs galore coming right up. My base was finished for the most part. Signs were started and with so many more to come. But I also had an itch for the Ashlands again. Having missed so much, this is where my journey through the Ashlands truly began. Making it through some more skeletons with my bone mask buff, I also found a few doggies along my travels. Satan's butthole was waiting for me, however. Oh, found a cave. I'm going in. I'm going in, going in. The putrid hole. <laughs> oh, crap. Morgan's going to be in here, right? Oh, Morgan. Yep. Sorry. Oh, it's a level one. I got to kill this fast. Can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Can you guys see it? I can't. I can't. I can't see. I can't. Okay. It's it's like super misty. Um. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Run, 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 run. I don't have enough time for my bone mass buff, and this thing will, like, two-shot me so easily. I, I'd rather... Hello. I'd rather not die. What are you doing here? Something that did catch me by surprise was back inside the plane's farm. I honestly didn't expect a single thing to grow. I thought I just messed up the placements. <gasps> Wait, they do grow! Oh, you... Oh, baby. The only way I'd continue to survive was finding better foods to work with. The stuff I had was nice, but it felt like I was missing something. That started with bigger chests for my food. Don't mind the mess of a place right now, please, okay? Or the fact that almost every chest I had seemed to be the complete opposite of organized. I think my biggest reason for never touching these chests after the iron upgrade was just the black metal ones looked weird. They looked odd. Sure, they had so much more room for activities, but man, they just did not look the part. I had to bite my tongue though and just take the L here. By the end of the night, everything was back in its place and then some. As for me, I was back inside the Ashlands, scouring the grounds for any flame metal I could get my greasy hands on. I made sure to double check, triple check, I wasn't being followed or worse. Close to finding what I came for, I couldn't believe my eyes. I really want to touch it. I want to touch it so badly. <gasps> Whoa! Well, that I've never seen before. Damn, that is. Hold on, I really want. This, is this gonna hurt? This is a lot of fun. Oh, this is a lot of flame metal ore. <gasps> crap, crap. What? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Um, you know, for this part, I'm actually gonna just. I'm gonna pop this. I'm gonna pop this just cause I'm in the fire. I don't like this. I'm gonna climb up here as high as I can. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. And now we start, you know, started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> started from the bottom, now the whole ship's run. <laughs> Let's just get this. All of the lava around me definitely had me nervous, but I remember certain people telling me that this pillar would eventually sink deep below. I had to be quick and not waste any time. Okay, I need this rock. This rock is my lifeline. Um, oh, crap. 
Dude, I'm kind of uh, so badly. <laughs> okay. Okay, only burn damage, but it's like you'll die in like seconds, right? All I had to do now was safely make it back to my little base besides the portal. Easy, right? For now, I was able to fill all the blast furnaces with the flame metal I had, having the thought to look for more iron chains because, you know, chains and whips excite me. No, no, no. I just wanted more lanterns. What I really should have known, but thankfully chat reminded me, is that iron chains were mostly found inside the crypts. Because I got it wrong the first time, no way I'd get it wrong the second time. I was pumped and ready to go. Feeling pumped the next day, I wanted to rearrange some things with my flax and barley. This place of mine was in desperate need of some flour. Most of the level 6 food needed bread, and I had the wrong thing growing. On top of that, I was really trying to figure out how to place more vine berries down. These new seeds had to be placed a very specific way. Taking a little break from bringing home the bread, I needed more iron chains for lanterns. I probably should have prepped this in my last video, but I'd take what I could get. And honestly, there wasn't really much to take home from these places. Thinking about trying out magic again, I made some new food called marinated greens. A great food type for magic and more etier. What I didn't expect to see while trying to pick up any berries that grew the next day was seeing my locks trying to escape. Either someone was inside or they really wanted to hurt something. I probably made too much food with everything I collected, but it felt good to have lots of extras in case it was needed. And I'll tell you right now, it was needed. All that was left to do was try and raise my rested buff level some more. As a new morning approached me, I followed up with more lanterns, surprising even myself with how much they really helped. The rest of the day was me working on more signs, lining everything up as best as I could because of all the names I wanted to add. Or if more people wanted names on signs, now you had them. I finally did it guys <laughs> as you can see your names are engraved into my game forever for the time until now until the time i pass on to the next life and so forth but there is still more room so if you want a name on a locker just let me know comment your username down below or whatever name you want me to put on the locker and i'll get to it I guess I'll just start with the first. This is going to be the portion of the video where I go through the names. There will be a timestamp, so if you don't want to, you know, go through all the names with me, you don't have to. You can skip to the next part. King Arthur the Third, Representative Self, Embodiment King the Fourth. The person who wanted me to put that said, if you put this, it'd be funny, and you'd show family or something. So, I mean, there you go. <laughs> oh. Farhan, Firestorm, Backrooms, Dominic, Ostrava, Random underscore nerd, Justin Stevens, Aaron Cates, name, we got Bobble, bo Bobbly, Bobbly, sorry, <laughs> Firestorm, we've got Techno Dan, Keisha, Nico, is that Nico? It's weird how like the I and the C sometimes looks like a K, but that is Nico. We got Shady Brady, we got Coats Keith, Sivit8, that is a saber of a titan. This is a summit underscore Sakar. Ashton, Mary, David, Jassy, Scribbles plays. Spark with no charge. We have Kitsune, Melon, Marsh. Again, thank you so much for all the names. For those who wanted to be a name on a sign in this game, thank you so much. Seriously, I love adding you to the game any way I can. And this is the best way I found to do it. So instead of doing little shout outs, shout out to all of you guys. All of you guys in the video, shout out to you, man. You guys are the best. Seriously. Let's continue, shall we? We have Desmond, King X. We have Mojo. We have Bag Boy Buddy, Scruff Daddy. I think I did a bunch of you. I've got me. Look at me. Ray Pantas. Tommy, we have Troy Rudlang, we have Flanka, I don't know what that is, but okay, someone said comment this. We have Ringo Overcast, we have Chrome Life One, there is Rio, we have Mango Mans, Key Lewis or Kai Lewis, we have Urin But No Hide, King Arthur the Third Representative. I was gonna put it here as like one sign, but if, yeah, I figured it didn't fit, and it was like, yeah, that's right. Then we have the Awesomeness 999. Look at that, man. I know you don't like watching Valheim, which is perfectly fine. But look at that. You're in the video. Look at that. This is right there. This is you. That's you. <laughs> I got Junie. Zoomin. Fluffy Vin. Saber of Titan's brother. Yeah, I didn't. you didn't really like leave a name, which honestly, don't leave a name for your brother. Um, more of a username thing. But Saber Titan. Uh, Saber Titan's brother. You have a sign here too, buddy. This is your sign. And we have me, which is Soma. If you know, you know. We have Commitment, because someone said this is Commitment playing the game this long. There is Jer, Short King, Mosey Man, Fares, Raven Kills. It's just Lil. Typical. We have, is this ironic? Ironic, okay. 
<laughs> Icarus Creed. We have Caught and Dog, Draven, Jog09, Bubbles, Ganondorf, Ange Piggy. We have Storm XP, Zalos, I think. We have Defunct Unicorn, General Machete. Hold on, let me get a better view so you guys can see too. Bailey Bond 004. We have Plumberry Delicious. I don't know what this means, but there is a, a stigma dickin. Oh. Oh, I just said it. Okay. Now, when I... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? When I say that out loud? Jesus. Duck is the best. We have Sidestep. Randy Marsh. Elliot Burton. We have Bryson Steele. We have Beck. We have Herpanzer. We have Shadow of Ronin. Yosef Hazan. The David. The Ripper. Overlord. Deadly Nickel. Again, thank you guys so much. Seriously, if you want a name on a sign, quote unquote, locker, just leave it in the comments and I'll get to it. I will definitely get to it. We have a Spark Rip, Dulgeris, Lauren, R. Myers, Ale Safe, Conrad Bother. We have Axe, there is Cavi, Skater Man, Giga Dot Shadow, Alex Perry. If you don't see your name, it's because you didn't leave a name, and I will, I will do that too. If you want a color as well, I will try to do my best to remember and add your color to this thing and go back, but name on locker, add name in, con in, in comments, and yeah, we're good to go. Well, the last one I saved is uh, right here, Vault Boy 2077. For some reason, you said just make a whole mural of like a name, so all I did was that. I did uh, Alatha, Alata, Alata, Fashan, Fashena, Alata, Fashena. Hopefully, this is okay. I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's. You're part of the game forever. You were literally part of my 900 days and counting and like we're gonna keep going from here. It is crazy. It also looks so cool. This is like some caveman style stuff. If you look at it far away too and you just like squint, it's like, ooh, cool squiggly lines. I like it. And the green is really nice. As I spent more time inside the Ashlands today, I was having some trouble with these Askvin. I really wanted to clear more of these creatures from the ground. I'm on fire, I think. Oh, hey, look at that. We got a little bone serpent there. That's okay. Not making any sense of why I had the windmills built inside my base, I decided to move back to the Plains farm. It felt easier that way, seeing that the barley was being planted and grown from the fields. Barley was about to become my best friend out here. I also made good on my deal and gave the bees a new home so they could find real happiness. Finally reaching the point of what the heck I was doing, this is what I was actually doing. Looking to create a little enclosed area for some new Askvin I wanted to tame. It started with me bringing down some stone structures near my place. Realizing this would have been so much easier to farm the Grostin stone over mining a big rock under lava. Like, what? <laughs> what I wasn't a huge fan of was having a big storm brewing in from the west. It also made things twice as hard trying to find and bring Askvin to this new pit. This, however, this was going to be a good day. This is all I know. All I know is that you trap whatever they are into a little section and you can tame and get them and it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The problem I ran into the next day was trying to capture another Askvin for taming. Getting its attention was the easy part, but not panicking, that was the hard part. Okay, just don't move, okay? Just stay right there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave you be. Having then two captured Askvins now, I just had to wait them out and let them be tamed. While eating food, of course. Not realizing that I still had to be in the area because I'd lose the taming progression. What I absolutely loved in this area, at least for the skeletons and basic stuff, was my bone mass buff. But every time I used the darn thing, so many creatures would take notice of me and out of nowhere, they would just overwhelm me every single time. It was always a dangerous game looking to see if I tamed the Askvins or not. Let's check on the first one because we do have stairs that go up that way. More food there. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Let them be. Okay, so it seems like they are definitely going to take some time. I was so hopeful for this next part because now I had the saddle for the said creatures and I was so ready to ride my way through the lands of lava. All I could do was throw more food into the pits and hope for the best. For the time being, I took most of the grass and stone I had and began building a new area for my soon to be tames. Fingers crossed they didn't try to kill me. What if I grab you? Come on. Come on. Now I just gotta find food for you too. Cool. So close to finishing this part up, my smile grew two sizes that day. This would be exactly what my friends needed. <gasps> there we go. Okay, how do we how do we do this? How do we do this? Saddle. Ooh. 
I've got a saddle baby with me. Look at this guy. Which means... You can get rid of this now. Sure, my new tame didn't have much HP, but what it did have was a new place in my heart. That's right, you heard me. Time for a little sneaky beakiness. I wonder if you're... Are you good? Nope. Okay. Not one, but now two tames. My plan was coming together so nicely. Oh, they're mating. See how there's hearts? They're hearting each other. Every so often, I would have to make sure these new tames of mine weren't trying to escape as well. There they go. Look at them. Look at them. The multiple hearts. I mean, maybe that's how people do it in real life. One gets on top of the other and starts doing stuff. Sounds about right. <laughs> You're old enough, you know. If you're young, too young. If you're young, uh, you, you probably don't know. You guys need to. With a new day here, I finally managed to tame every Askvin I had. <gasps> hey, that's really good timing. What the heck? All right, I'll just fix up all this here. This new build also needed some doors, so wooden stuff would have to do for now. Wait, what is that? Oh, <gasps> wait, what? They lay eggs? What I also needed was a warm place for the eggs to hatch. And what seemed like the best idea ever, a campfire. Something I never wanted to happen was having these explodey slimes near or inside my base. I had to get this nuisance away from my babies as soon as possible. I did also go on to replacing the entire hut for the eggs as they did need more room. Easy enough as I had all the stone I ever needed. As me and my Aspen were ready for a little adventure, it was time to see what this thing was made out of. Apparently, I can use this guy to get around on the lava really quickly. Mm, but I don't know if it's like a for sure thing. Oh, here we go. Lava, 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 lava. I want to try this out. Let's see. Does this work? It does. Oh, my God. Nope. Nope. We're burning. We're burning. We're on fire. Okay. So they can handle a little bit of it. Still really good to know. Still really good to know. Okay. Not only was the tame better than I could have imagined, it was also able to run over pools of lava. Like, what? Why didn't I do this sooner? Holy smokes, man. I was kicking myself for this. Give me the vines. Give me the vines. Give me the vines. Give me the vines. <gasps> oh, that lava's creeping in there. The fudge. Is that the thing? The boss thing? That might be the boss thing. Hold on. Oh, <gasps> it is! The boss arena. Okay, and then there's like three these thingies. Sadly, my little venture forth would come to an end as I felt nauseous and got myself a little stuck between a rock and a hard place. As things slowed down, I would have to decide using the tame again or not. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment dandelion down below. With the new morning here, I had to make a choice not to sacrifice another Askman again. That meant I needed another way across the lava. So now I had to figure something else out. Oh yeah, yeah, so there's bombs. Okay, bile bomb. Uh, basalt bomb. Wait, with enough heat, it solidifies upon explosion? Ooze bomb. Ascend is unbearable and explosive payload. Best used with a catapult. So basalt bomb is hide, bladder, and those red powders. All right, I'm going to get that food and then grab some stuff and go. All right, give me as many bombs as you can. Basalt bombs. I guess I'll go for 50, right? Seems that today was filled with so many great ideas because I had the perfect thing for little eggs to hatch even faster with. Okay, wait, could I build this here? Okay, so I can build this here. I'm gonna do something really, really funny, at least to me. Is that uh, too cold? What do you mean too cold? Warm, 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 and warm. <laughs> Oh, that is great. This was the outcome for a new way to travel over the pools of lava, by the way. Oh, perfect. Right here. Okay. So this is what I wanted to get to. Now, I hope I built the right bombs. Let's see. Oh, it works. It works. It works. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's really cool. It's like I'm playing a little platformer game. Oh, my God. 
That's actually so sick. Everything went better than I ever expected until, well, the unexpected happened. I just gotta watch out for those things. This is so dangerous. <laughs> this is really dangerous. I gotta make sure I don't throw it too far. I can make the jump. But look at that. Isn't that so cool? I didn't know they had bombs like this. This would have been so good to know. Go, 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 go. Oh, I think I threw that too far. <gasps> yeah, okay, keep it really close. This is why I made 50 of them. Ow, 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 ow. Someone pushed me. Someone pushed me. Someone. The plan now was to craft more of those weird bombs, chow down on some food, and make my way back to the Ashlands. I was determined to retrieve my stuff, but now I was concerned the creatures of the land wouldn't be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 The next time we don't need to go all the way through, well, for that piece actually, probably. I want to remove that too. It was always a risky game while in the Ashlands, but playing around with the lava or trying to cross it was asking for trouble. I just needed a little more flame metal. I'm talking a couple of pieces, okay? And I'd be happy. Even just the thought to attempt this again was not happening. What would be happening was filling up my blast furnaces with some flame metals and just letting them cook. As all the bars were being cooked through the night, the morning had me filling up my chests with all the goodies. I also wanted to collect any barley that finished growing, trying to min-max all the barley I had and building more windmills for the faster production. I had the materials, so I figured why not? With all that metal being finished, it was back to exploration. Of all days too, trying to go back to visit that beaming light, the only thing that I didn't want happening was pulling aggro from anything around. If there was something clearly not working anymore, it was the build or weapons I was using. As much as I didn't want to switch anything, change was needed and honestly it would feel better later on this would be that change a crossbow in hand and some bolts to match it i also needed a new melee weapon the only thing i really wanted at this point was a two-hander and the only thing i never tried it was time to take these bad boys out for a spin the reload speed was so new to me and things were slow but man was the damage so good i take this over everything now i did make sure to have an extra crossbow on me just in case the first broke the real test though it came when i finally pulled the aggro of a valkyrie this would test the strength of of my weapons and if i had what it took to actually fight the thing besides the bombs i made for platforming across the lava i was curious to see what other bombs did what oh it's one for one two oh my god that is beautiful <laughs> all right so we have these bombs those bombs it sounds like these bombs are going to be pretty dang huge when it comes to the radius the explosion itself I mean, just the way they look too. With everything crafted up, it was time to run through more of the Scorched Lance. Hoping not to pull anything, but pulling everything. It was making progress towards this big beaming light. Oh my God, that was such a friggin' annoyance. Oh, I don't want to attack the Valkyrie. I'm going to stay away from it. It pulls everything into me. Like what the heck? Are you kidding me? All right, so this is the big old castle. As scary as balls. Actually, could you blow it up for me? Let's see. Charred fortress, baby. Okay, no. Wait, do we have to go to the gate here? Oh yeah, there's an actual door to it too. Holy crap. The next day I had everything planned from the newest addition to my builds and trying to figure out how to get inside this place. I kid you not, but I was stuck on this for like an hour. Am I even using this right? Like what am I, hold on. The arms, right? The arms, like the things that are hitting, it looks like it's like this way, which is kind of weird. Oh my God. Nope, never mind. Not kind of weird. Woo! <laughs> oh, just don't set me on fire, please. Oh my God. Okay, okay, let go. Let go of it, let go of it, let go of it. That's a lot of people, huh? That's a lot of people. Holy crap. Um, okay, I gotta kill this warlock first. Oh my god. Oh, it summoned something too. A skeleton? No, 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 no. I gotta kill him, I gotta kill him, I gotta kill him, I gotta kill him, I gotta kill him. Ow, 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 ow. Yes, 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 I killed him. A warlock. I got a warlock trophy, guys. Okay, there's still so many people. If my double axes wouldn't do the job, then there had to be another two-handed weapon that I could use. But we're gonna try out. Oh, look at that! 
that beast of a weapon. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. I felt like the main character in an anime series. This weapon looked insane while sitting on top of my shoulders. It definitely had the damage as well, being able to kill everything in two or less hits. Now for the sieging of this base and taking what was definitely mine. Not only did this place have mob spawners, but giant catapults shooting arrows from inside. Oh, we got the catapult. Charred cogwheel, we got the catapult, guys. We finally defeated our first thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Feels good, man. For now, I would lug the battering ram inside and using it on these locked doors. Just need you to break open that. I can't. Yes, there you go. Okay, drop it. <gasps> whoa, whoa, what is all this stuff? Oh, bell, <gasps> bell fragment. This is the thing, guys. This is the thing. Oh my god. I gotta make sure I have wood for that thing, but like, oh, the bell fragment where we called the boss. Oh my god. <laughs> nine out of nine. And then, oh, and now we finally have it registered and the boss name too. The Emerald Flame. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Bloodstone. With everything I found and now had, I sliced and diced my way through smaller creatures, finding my way back to my home. Okay, so I finally placed this thing down, right? This gem cutter, that was one of the new upgrades we got. Look at everything we just got. Look at this. We got the Scourging Slayer, which is, it's a lightning type of blade. And it's an upgrade, so we use the Slayer. We have this one. If it bleeds, you can kill it. Does, do you bleed? This reminds me of Superman versus Batman. That's crazy. So wait, the Slayer is 170 base, and then the Slayer is damage increased per health that is missing. So if I'm missing more health, we're doing damage. Oh, right here, look at the Storm and the Wound Ripper. <laughs> oh my God, so if you're missing health, you do tons of damage. Tons of damage, I'm talking. Oh, he's even got the electricity. Foul, foul, foul. Electricity, and then, ooh, the electric bow. Look at that. Oh, and it does the noise. <laughs> During the next day, there was something I was missing out on. Something that would eventually become my final build. Not only was my damage the stuff of legends, it now had electricity flowing through them too. As I made my way back towards the castle, I was looking to pick up all the materials I couldn't last time. I mean, look at the stacks of flame metal and money. Also, why did money weigh so freaking much? That was also crazy to me. Closing in on exactly what I wanted, this new outfit of mine was almost finished. I was planning on rocking the robe of magi and trying out magic again. Curious to see if that was the key to everything or if I was just missing out on the real damage. There we go. Now we have the full set. Okay, so we know the ice one. The ice is like that. Fireball. Whoa, it's loading. What? Why did it say loading? Whoa, it's like a shotgun. You see that? Look at this. Bop. <laughs> Bop. <laughs> Dude, this is like a shotgun. I don't know if it'd be good in the Ashlands, but it's hilarious. All right, what's this one? Let's see. We'll do, we do have this one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Wait, are you summoning summoned troll? Why is it fighting me? Oh, it's literally just a beast. It goes to fight whatever. Go, troll number two. Can they fight each other? Dude, look at these trolls. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't strong enough to control more summons? Ah, okay, so two is the max. Oh god. I don't know if I, hmm. Well, I'm so sorry, bystander, a little neck. A little necky dude, hey, what's up? You want a piece of this? All right, you gotta get a piece of that first. It was safe to say that I loved every bit of what I made and was now using. Finding myself back inside the cookery and looking to make myself a few different food types. This is where I truly started to enjoy myself again. New items and all making this experience so much better. Look at this. This is beautiful, guys. <laughs> I've got them fighting. 
Oh man, I'm gonna help him out. Yeah, I know you don't like me. It's okay. I gotta make sure I don't spawn this too close to my base like I, I did, because if it dies, the, the warrior. Well, now I gotta kill the troll. <laughs> That's great. All right, goodbye, buddy. Goodbye, goodbye, good luck. My magic was kicking butt, and truth be told, this was so much better than before. The different types of magic I was now wielding felt so good and just honestly surprised me in the best way possible. Boom, baby! Oh, this is so good. I love it! Oh, man. <laughs> I started to feel the true power behind magic now. It was weird that Mistlands never gave me this feeling once, but I was excited for the future of magic. I may have also gotten super lucky with how much food I'd be pulling in. The last island I was at gave me barely anything, and now my inventories and storage was just full with every return. I also made the biggest mistake while looking at a new build. So that is a catapult. You do the catapult, you lower the legs. Oh, it gets stationed and then you place item and it shoots it. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my God. I got to use this. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to break it down. Well, I guess I got a catapult in my base now. It looks like you can't break these down, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. It was now time for a little more magic and a lot more fun. The best part about this was nothing could take me and the Ashlands knew it. I would have to watch out for the fire trolls every so often. If they didn't have anything to fight, I was the next best thing. It also turns out I could give the next castle what it needed. Go, buddy. Ooh. There was a lot of people in there, wasn't there? Come on. You have to fight from within. Take them down. There we go. Bam! <laughs> I love it, man. It's so good. I don't even need a catapult at this point. I did want to give the catapult a go, too. It definitely looked the part, but was it any good? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Just keep it going. This was taking me forever, trying to line up my shot and get everything right. Each time I set my load, this would move and I would have to start all over again. Thankfully, all it took was one more shot until I was inside the next door. Hey, I totally got in. Oh my god, finally. Holy crap, that took forever. My trolls were definitely tanking everything I couldn't and it also gave me my way in. Woo! Got it, I 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 gotta get out, I gotta get out. I didn't know it at the time, but this castle I was trying to overtake would give me the item I needed. Oh, <gasps> I got even new stuff. More, more stuff. Staff of the Wild. Primal Slayer. We got a green sword this time. Oh my God. And there's flame metal ore. Look at this. We got Jade. I got more, or I got more of this, but I got Jade. Oh my God, Jade. Today, I would find out the truth about real magic and the one item I was actually waiting for. I got everything set up. I have my next build at the ready. I'm so curious to see how this works. I mean, if it was anything like my last time, that's going to be really good. These new vines were the stuff of legends, but more than that, they paired so well with my fire trolls. What? Oh no, holy crap. Those are thorns. What the fudge? I'm gonna be honest, didn't expect to see thorns. Oh my God, that's, <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, it keeps surprising me with this. <laughs> I just have all of the offense here, man. I don't, these guys don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. I'm just like enjoying this now. <laughs> oh, it finally feels like we, when you get to end game, they give you all the good stuff. And then it's like, well, now what do I do? Cause I beat the game. Like that's one thing I've never been a fan of if I'm being completely honest. I don't like getting to the end of a game with the end game stuff and then there's nothing left to do except for the same monotonous, tedious thing of just grinding. Like, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. This is nice. It seems like they've been giving us little cookies or little crumbs to find the cookies. I got the crumbs. I found the cookies. This stuff, like these new staffs, all together, so much fun. Like, I'm actually having such a good time it brings everyone else in they're like oh what's that that's the distraction let's go attack him then all you do is you summon these guys let the vines do the work oh they got immobilized oh these immobilized things too i should have guessed it's green 
It was time to change up my food a little. I needed more magic and this was looking a lot spicier. Now it was time to share some of that spice with another castle. They were looking a little lonely. <laughs> oh, they're trying. They're trying. They are trying. Kill them. Nice. This also felt like the perfect time to open up another sucker with a great bing, bang, boom. He loves it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, the fire is what hurts so much. The biggest thing I planned on doing was exploring most of the lands and any castles I could find, looking to upgrade all my staves to equipment I had. As I needed another battering ram the next day, this castle was about to become mine. More gemstones and bells were on the table. I did have plans on fighting the last boss as many times as I could as well. With everything staring me dead in the eyes, I couldn't have been happier with this moment right here. These bells were everything I needed to summon the next boss. With the next few days coming, it was time to get lost and find someone I'd been missing forever. Halder's sister were still on my radar. I had to find out what they had and anything else they did. Truth be told, I did actually get lost for quite some time, but the waters were a tricky mistress. First, I got stuck in some thick fog. Soon after, I was fighting a raging storm. The waves were going back and forth so much. As things finally started to clear up, I made my way past some swamps, excited more than ever for this next part. <gasps> Is that her? Oh my god, that might be her. That might be her. That might be oh crap, 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 oh crap. Oh crap. Wait for it, wait for it, wait there we go. Alright, we're good to go. Die Okay, I have to see this hold on for myself. Oh my god! Most of my stuff was stolen from me. I've marked out where it is on the mat in case he'd like to help me look for it. Wait. Did you just mark it or? Oh, I think I have to click her. If you help me get these things back, I'd be happy to do business with you. Oh my God. Register chest locations. Ooh. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta put up a portal first. Let me, let me do that. One thing I did have to do was jump back onto my ship and find my way back home and fast. I forgot about the most important part and that was with the portals that needed to be connected to one another. This was not good and I needed the bigger portals too. I was ready. I had everything I needed and now it was time to make my way towards the first island. I was about to start the first of three quests in this game. The first of which I sat around starting a fight and then watching it unfold with these two trolls. Next, it was time to climb up some grassy hills looking to evade and mess up another little village. Closing into what I was hoping for, I figured the hunt was over. As my journey continued on, there it was, out in the distance and something I needed to conquer. A tall tower that rained from metal to brick and had loads of goblins waiting inside. Even a mini boss that would be the toughest of three and had me at a loss for words. Ooh, look at that. It looks like you gotta climb up a bunch of different stuff, some sort of like platformer type deal. What in the heck? Look at that. The sealed tower. Sounds like there's a lot of people inside. This was going to be a lot tougher than I thought because my weakness was actually in platformers. Whew. Finally made it inside. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Ow, ow, ow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. All I had to do now was run naked through some of the most dangerous lands, carefully jumping from platform to platform, and finding my stuff while back inside this tower. Oh my god, just let me get my stuff now, please. Just let me get my stuff. Just let me get my stuff. Let me get my stuff. Let me get my stuff. It was up here. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa, oh god. I could kill you. What am I doing? I forgot about that, okay. Oh, that's a lot of people, huh? I'm gonna shotgun you to the face! Oh! There's a lot more than I thought there would be. Okay, okay, I'll go down, I'll go down, I'll go down. <gasps> oh, 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 hello, Zill and Th 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 Thuger. Uh, 
Oh, there's two of them. Look at that. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down, big boy. What if I use the vines here? Can you kill them really fast? Okay, fire hurts. Make it go stop. Oh, it is still hurting him. Oh my god. Yes, please. Yes, please. Kill him. I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of it. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Please, please, please kill him. Please kill him. <gasps> I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. But did I kill him? Did my things kill? Yeah! <laughs> I may have died, but you died too. Oh, wait. The little guy didn't. And he's teabagging my body. The next few days, I was making real progress, picking up my stuff where I last died again, and trying to beat the next obstacle. Okay, if I could just trap you in the corner, stay there, stay there, stay there. I think I also picked something up. Okay, so the vines are gonna do stuff. <gasps> no, not towards me! Oh my god! No! <laughs> kill him, not me, kill him, not me. Is he dead? Oh, thank god. <gasps> Whoa! Look at the chest! Builders bronze. Wait, what the fudge? This is just a bronze place? You gotta be kidding me. Hey, look at that. I gotta. That is so creepy. In the choice of ride or die, he picked the latter. <laughs> so we have Thungor and we have Zil. As I ran back, I also noticed some of my weapons being under leveled or not fully upgraded. That had me using these bloodstones to upgrade my magic shotgun to the max. It was time to build a more advanced portal so I could take everything back with me. These chests were coming with me, but now I needed to find the other locations as well. The next one had me traveling through the black forest, looking for a certain crypt and another mini boss. Fight my big guy. They like them apples, huh? Bet you don't, bet you don't. Oh, look at him go. He's beautiful. In all his glory. <laughs> Mine's stronger. Until it starts attacking me, then it's like, oh, well, god dang. Yeah, there we go. Do you see that clear rate, man? Nothing can beat it, seriously. All right, let's go and see what's up. This has to be the crypt. The smoldering tomb. Oh, this is definitely it. Hello. Smoldering tomb. Oh, what the fudge? Oh my god, that is a friggin' jump scare and a half. Holy crap, they actually come out of the tombs. That's so cool. I love that. If they added that just to regular dungeons, oh my god, I can't wait until this game's like well, fully finished and everything, like content wise. It's gonna be so good. Seriously. Wait, is this one ancient car? <laughs> I love it. Ah. Spooky, spooky, spooky dookie, spooky dookie. <gasps> oh my, why? Why do you keep doing that? Oh God, what is that? I found Brenna. Look at Brenna, guys. We got a Brenna in the house. What is he doing? Ooh, it got a flame sword thing going on. Nope, nope, don't want what you're selling. Sir, I'm using this just in case, just in case. Leave me alone. Oh my god, this is the second boss. Goodbye. Oh, these are actual things on the ground, okay. What? No, no, no. Bob. Bob. Okay, I've got one more shot. Oh my god, Brenna Trophy, you are mine. Hilder's Brass Chest. As the day was coming to an end, this would make my base a lot more immersive as well. Ah! Oh! Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I got jump scared again. Are you kidding me? Why is this thing so big? Okay, okay, let's just... Holy crap, even when I picked this thing... Wait, what? Even when I picked it up from the... Okay, let's just not put that one there, then. <laughs> mm, I could put it over my bed while I sleep, but that 
I don't, well, I don't want that, you know? It was a new day here. I had just a few more things to finish up. So one, uh, and then I think it was, is it red? I think it was red, then it was blue, and then it was green. Oh, that looks so good. I like that. I'm going to leave it like that. Until I figure out a new place, obviously. With a few benches to my name as it made the place feel more alive, I also moved around the last couple pieces of furniture inside my bedroom. My base was feeling as finished as it could be, looking to finally get the last chest and finding the next mini boss to add to my belt. All right, I'm ready. What do you have for me? What do you got? A howling cave. Um. Boom. Bye, bit. It's an ulv. And bitty bats. All right, we got bitty bats too. Aided those things. Oh my god. Hey, there's another one. Good night, little, little puppy. Good night. Uh oh, this is a a place. Don't do it. Don't do it. You've been warned. I warned ya. Whoa! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Okay. They are so fast. What the fudge? Here we go. This has got to be it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, that's it. That's it. That is the one. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, okay, you know what? Oh, here, let me help you out, buddy. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. You come over here and, uh, yeah, do your thing. Oh my god. <laughs> These things are going to kill you. You must die. Okay, this is definitely the tankiest dude ever. Also because I think they're magic. Got him. Give me that chest, please. Thank you. Hilter's a silver chest. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that. So this is what I was talking about. Today, I was about to have the most wonderful time with a little blue goblin. You know what this reminds me of? How to train our dragon. How to train your dragon? I think that's the one. The music. I'm back, baby. I'm back, Hilder. It, it took a couple days, I think. Maybe a little longer. But I'm back, baby. I'm back. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh, I got to give you the item like... Okay. Got it. One. Oh! Yay, you found it. Now check out my wares. Look at that. So cool. Look at it. Look at it. No! <laughs> it's like opening up stuff. Oh, do the next one. Do the next one. Yeah, yeah. What is it going to be? Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Magic is happening. And the last but not least. Ba -ba -da -ba. Come on now. Oh, there's the outfits and everything. That's so cool. <laughs> I love it, man. I absolutely adore this place. Holy crap. Oh, look at this. Look at the scrollies. All right, we need some serious money here. All I needed now was to fill in all the armor stands for the pieces of clothing in my inventory. We got a bunch of dresses. Yeah, we're going to spruce up the place with some wares of such and things. <gasps> Barber station, iron pit, fi iron fire. Hold on, there, we're getting other stuff from that. Whoa, different fireworks too. Look at that. Green fireworks, red fire. Yo, we could color these fire. Hold on, what is it? How do you use use firework on what? Oh. Look at it. Look at it, guys. Sparklers. Sparklers. Woo. <laughs> Hold on, I want to see what this is. Wait, it says it's an upgrade. Hold on, right? No, it's just it's a barber station news. Whoa, 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 whoa! Cool, so cool! They finally... Oh my god, you could change it in-game! That's a real Viking. Oh yeah! With the portal taking me exactly where I needed to go, I thought I'd be ready for my next fight. 
What I did have an easier time with was what portal I placed down for the next boss location. I think all I need to do is place the three bells, right? Because it had like three locations. Yeah, this stuff. This is going to be legendary. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We got all the bells. Got my shields. All right. I'm ready. Let's uh, let's see what goes on. Altar of the Emerald Rings. Ring the bells. Is that the boss? Is it a Valkyrie? The fallen Valkyrie? <laughs> this is kind of sick though, right? Pull! Oh. What is that? What is that? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Holy crap, we gotta kill this bird first. We gotta kill this bird first. We gotta kill the bird first. Oh my god! Look at this dragon! Oh, oh we summoning meteors. You know what? Fine, you wanna do that? I can do that too, man. Here you go. Oh god, oh god, is this is this okay? Am I good here? Am I good here? I think I'm I'm all uh I don't know. I won't touch the fire. Oh, wait, actually. Let's do this. And then let's jump over it. Oh my god. Holy crap, look at this big dragon! It's a dragon! It's a freaking dragon! <laughs> So cool. uh, 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 uh. Okay, okay. He killed my dude. That's okay though. He's summoning more. <gasps> Wait, what? What was I standing in? I don't. Okay. Dang. The music too? Oh, this is the best boss by far. Best boss by far. Holy crap. Surely this next encounter would get me my stuff back. Somehow, I need to get my stuff. And this dude is on my body. Like my other dude. This is going to be trick. <laughs> tricky. It's going to be really tricky. I need you to not be here, buddy. I just, I just... Oh, I just needed to grab my stuff somehow and then make it out alive. It's okay. It's okay. My stuff is outside now. My stuff is outside now. I didn't, I had no idea where I was going. I'll be honest. I had no idea where it's going to go. Somehow I, I did it, but my booty was shaking and I was absolutely scared to my core, panicking all over the place. I was getting closer and closer to finally beating the last boss. It was just a matter of time. I also realized instead of using certain foods I had, full magic seemed like the way to go. All right, guys, let's do this.
I just gotta make sure I don't die at this last, like, little bit here is... Oh god, 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 Kill him, kill him, kill him! Actually, you know what? I wanna kill him with my shotgun. I just gotta wait until that fire is gone. Oh god, and we gotta run, cause the meteors... Do this. Shotgun him to the face. Shotgun to the face! Ooh, hoo, 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 I love you! The emerald flame has been extinguished. Look at it go. Look at it go. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. No more. With the magic? Oh man, that is ten times easier than I thought it'd be. Look how big this thing is. You were carrying too much. Oh, of course. Oh, because of these. Yep. That is so cool, the flame. We got the Fader Relic. After everything, all the fights and just the headache, I was ready to see what this new boss would give me, power-wise and all. <laughs> oh man. Which is this one. And I love how it's like it doesn't fit either. It's like each one has like a good amount of space, about the same amount, and then it's just like plop. <laughs> Makes no sense, but I love it. All right. Fader power increases strength and speed. We get 10% move speed and 300. Oh my God, max carry weight. You see that? Forsaken sacrificed. Well, I guess we're going to use the queen bee power. Holy crud. Are you kidding me? I could have had an extra 100% of the, uh, the, the regen. Something else that did help during the boss fights was the potions. More than that, I had these lingering meads that gave me extra stats while fighting my way through them. As the last week went on, I had the hardest time trying to farm the new items from this boss. I was prepping myself for the next update and making sure I'd have enough for whatever came next. The deep north was the word around the streets, so I needed to be ready. Oh man, with my last day here, honestly, I'm not sure what to say other than thank you for taking a chance on me when, when you did, and thank you for still being here for those who are still here for just supporting me watching my videos and just leaving comments all the good stuff i really appreciate it but more than that this is like one of those series that's been like it, it's felt like home to me and it's been so special to actually make it to day 900 now it's kind of absurd it, it's it's crazy it's unheard of for most video games but i finally did it and i did everything i wanted to and more with the ashlands this boss has now put a favorite boss to my mind like now i'm thinking of a favorite boss it's oh really look at this it's the fader or the shadow flame dragon friggin oh my god the music everything in ashlands was so different and so cool and so interesting and i'm so surprised i didn't get to experience all of that in the last video it's so weird going back to my last video now with that said i love you guys so much i appreciate the support to this day and just just thank you for everything that you still continue to do for me on a daily basis I will forever be grateful. This is Ray Pandas sparkling and signing out. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye everybody.